My name is Anna Hoagley, I work here at Seiko in London. Today's videos are going to show you a few different styling techniques for hair. In this video I'm going to show you how to use hair benders. You will need hair benders. Uh, today I have um, soft beaded hair benders. You need a brush, tail comb, section grips and aerosol spray. So we start off spraying the hair lightly with an aerosol spray. Don't put in too much product so it's difficult to work with so the hair gets sticky just a little bit just to make the, make the curls last. I would start on the top. <clears throat> so section off. Like a couple of inches wide section around the crown area. Go around the bender once. I use the tail comb just to tuck in the ends so you don't get like hooks in the ends here. And then I just use the tail comb as you roll the bender down the hair just to help those loose ends in inside the curler. When you get all the way in, you just bend the ends in to make it stay. That's why I start on the top because all these ends are going to point upwards. <clears throat> so you just get it out of your way. I'm going to work in a brickwork system today, just to make, just so you don't get any any partings, any lines in one particular place. So now I section it off in the middle. I'm going to start off in the middle again. So if you want lots of volume, you really pull the hair up just so the bender end up a little bit higher than the sectioning. You can see here the hair is pulled up a little bit that just adds some more volume to the hair. If you want it to go a bit flatter, you just pull the section a bit further down, just so the, so the hair isn't pushed up that much right from the roots. After leaving the heated rollers in for about 20 minutes until it gets time to cool down properly, you just unwind them carefully and make sure you don't get tangles while you do it. Look at how bouncy it looks.
separate them nicely with your fingers. And that's how to use hair benders.